Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the support, allowing me to be a part of your journey, basically helping with spiritual, spiritual, spiritual guidance and assistance along your journey to make sense of the crazy situations that we are constantly placed. In. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift, how it impacts your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like you are comfortable enough, well, I mean, sorry. If you feel like the videos, the videos gave you good vibes and good information. That's what I meant today, meant to say. Good vibes and good uh information that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support that you've been giving me is so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to uh, resonate with the content of my video today this peaceful meditation i'm listening to which is so peaceful too is put me in you know good zen mode um it's called most uh emotional music relaxing music clean mind and brain power music and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about um oh let me see when oh when love flows with freedom there's beauty it is you know it's a beautiful situation i mean it was a beautiful experience you know um being able to see things for what they truly are being able to accept you know the things that has happened to your life even though it might not have been you know it's not a glorious experience to have to go through the things you had to go through but being able to step back and see how you know the universe has educated us and showing us what things truly are you know which can which it can be you know tragic to deal with you know um spiritual awakenings are not meant to be fun <laughs> it's not but when you can see everything like is wrapped up in one seeing the things you had to go through has educated you on so many levels it's made you wise it made you a lot stronger than you ever thought you were capable of being you know it allows you to you know let go of the weaknesses and you know whatever your weak points are allows allows you to strengthen those along the way you know I look at my situation and it's sad at times you know doing dealing with the things I had to deal with and learning the things that I had to learn but you know it's really put me in a you know a, in a peaceful place you know dealing with things and you, you're healing each and every day you're allowing yourself to be able to go with the flow and allowing things to be seen for what they truly are. You know, um, even though we have lost a lot, I know I've lost a lot of things, but I've gained so much wisdom through my pain. I've, I've learned a lot of things through my pain, being able to make videos and letting people know, you know, even though we go through, you know, trying times, it's, it's not meant for us to be prisoner of our, our faults, our prisoners of our mistakes or pain is supposed to teach us so many things you know we lose people along the way which is a circle of life you know that's something we have to go through it's never easy but when you know that you have that spiritual gift you can still talk to your loved ones um, even though they have transcended into something else you know nobody really ever dies but you know they tr just transform into a different you know uh, object or a spiritual level um, being able to learn those different things has truly been a blessing um, being able to do the videos and you know let people know we are all going to, we're all getting activated towards one way or another and yes it might be a push and pull situation it, we're going to have some hard times yes we are but when you can be able to learn and appreciate the things that you have gone through that's the true blessing being able to you know look at the things that you that's been placed in your life and it might have really you know um 
sorry y'all my eyes itching um you know really had gone through some situations and it's just like you know wow you know i've been through so much but look how much you know this this painful situation has taught me look how much this painful situation has allowed me to grow manifest things that i truly needed in my life letting go of things that is no longer serving me parting ways with toxic relationships and friendships that truly weren't benefiting you know my growth you know anything that stunts your growth or you know leaves you at a low frequency we should always you know part ways with them in love you know, I've been, you know, a lot of my painful experiences have been coming back and I had to allow myself to say, you know what, anytime a painful memory comes back, say, tell myself, you know what, you no longer belong to me. I'm letting you go with love and you have to be able to free that, you know, because you, you, you need to free your mind from all those pain, painful situations that you have went through, allowing it to know what it, it has truly taught you throughout everything, you know, being able to see you know, I can't really, you know, be angry with people that have brought things my way, even though it hurts when people have prayed against me or, you know, hope that I won't get out my situation. Yeah, that's a hurtful situation, but you have, those people are showing you your, their insecurities. When people see you as a threat, they see you as a strong person that they wish they could be. They also, they re don't even realize they can be as strong as you as well. I'm that type of person that I, I sit up here and uh say we all can finish at the you know we all can go through the finish line we all can make it you know your journey is your journey i might not understand your journey you might not understand mine but that doesn't mean that you're not going along your journey with all this knowledge which you are you know when we cannot be a prisoner of our pain being a prisoner of our abuse um being our p prisoner of our painful past you know you're letting all these things free because you're you know we're all heading towards something very beautiful that's why we're going through so much it you know <laughs> in a short period of time because it makes you feel like okay it was quiet before in the storm and then you got all these things coming at you in a different direction it's just like yesterday i didn't make any videos because number one it was mother's day number two you know it was a very sensitive day for me because it allowed me to reflect on you know not having communication with my biological mom uh, my mom that has raised me has passed, you know, my dad's, uh, my mom's ex-husband's wife, you know, I don't consider her my mom anyway. So it's just like all the blessings that I can say, you know, knowing, okay, I know who my mom is. So that gives me peace. Um, knowing that I had a mother that truly loved me that and still does. And I hear from her from time to time in the spiritual realm is a blessing as well. You know, like I told anybody, if you still have your mom here, allow her to know as many times as you can that she is appreciated because once they are gone off, off the physical world, you know, you're going to miss, miss, uh, miss many a days, wish many a days that you, you know, you show that appreciation. You know, if you if you have a good relationship with uh, your parents, you know, uh, if there's something that's petty, allow yourself to, you know, cut ties with that because once they're gone, that's a whole different story, you know. And it's just many a days, you know. It's it's just sad because we always expect our parents to be here. You know, nobody really prepares for their parents to pass on. But it's just like if you if it's something serious, then I can understand. But if it's something petty, like some he say she say stuff, or all oh, they're just mad about, if it's something really petty, please break away from that and enjoy the time that you have with your parents why when you truly can um but it's just to be able to live freely without you know because it's just like our pain our abuse can leave us in a pr being a prisoner of our pain and that's what love flows through and it's so beautiful to be able to love freely you know um being able to you know being able to give my testimony on all the things that i'm going through and being able to tell you you know no it was no picnic but if I really look at things back without emotion, it has benefited me in a long way because it's like when I'm able to bless somebody else and making sense of the crazy situations that they go through, allowing them to know you are not by yourself. There's a lot of people that are going through the same thing that you're going through. It's just our situation is different, but we're all going through that spiritual exercise of learning, growing, um, setting free things that 
you know, we hold dear to, but it's painful just to hold on to. You know, a lot of us keep constantly going through those painful scenarios of what has been done to us, how people have treated us. But, you know, yes, it's a, it's, it's a sucky situation to have to experience that. But why allow yourself to be a prisoner of that pain? You know, that's probably the same thing. The people that did that to you, they're doing the same thing you're doing. You know, so it's just like, allow them, you know, just pray for them. You have to pray for people like that, you know, of their actions. You know, it's just like with my with my family. I don't even consider them family. You know, those are just people that, you know, gave me that experience that, you know, I wouldn't wish that on anybody in the world, but they gave me that experience. But I'm glad I went through these certain situations, even though it was so painful. But being able to do that has made me very strong. You know, this is something that they were scared I was going to do because they seen the strength in me. Even though I've endured so much, I've lost so much. I've gained so much wisdom. I've gained so much strength. Uh, you know, the people that I've taken out my life, they don't gave me, you know, people that are on my level. Being able to resonate with different people, being able to share the experiences that we all went through. But being able to allow yourself to say, you know what, that painful experience has gave me strength. It is had me learn different things that I never thought I would be able to learn. Uh, no, you know, no things can shift at any th any time. Those blessings come to you, at, you know, any any ways. So it's just like going through that. I'm glad that I got myself through that because I would have never knew who I was truly truly was, and I would have never known what I was capable of doing until I went through this experience. So that's why I have to be grateful for these painful situations. You know, even though I lost my father, not knowing my mom, you know, I never know what the universe holds in for me. So it's just like I have to be able to enjoy the life that I have because life is too short to sit up here and be miserable all the time, holding on to painful situations that you can no longer change. You can't change that, but you can change how you view it. You can change how you respond to it. You can change how you accept it. But being able to know, yes, this situation has took you down in so many different ways, but that's what that wasn't the experience you were supposed to be holding on to. Being able to say, yes, this has happened to me, but I'm taking my power back. I'm taking my power back from the people who did this to me. I'm taking my power back from the memory that I need to desperately let go of. Because this is just like, I think about stuff and I got mad, you know, but then I'm just like, you know what? You would have never known what you were capable of. You would have never known about the spiritual gifts that you hold and being able to help others along the way. That's the blessing. That is truly the blessing. I must know I must be on some stuff because all these lights keep flashing every time I move and every time my hands move. But that's the blessing within itself to be able to know that these things have really taught me something. These things is helping others along the way to give them some kind of piece of understanding to know you are not alone. You are not going through these things by yourself. You have the power to succeed, to get over your pain, the trauma that has been placed into your life, being able to let that trauma be your weight lift of being stronger. You know, becoming stronger, getting all this knowledge to know you're, you're multi-gifted. You've got all these gifts that has been placed upon you, but you had to go through that trauma to be able to realize these are the things that you hold. So allow these things to flow. Allow your blessings to come and blossom into your life because that's the things that you truly deserve. After all the hell you've been through, believe that you are worthy of the blessings that's coming your way. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope y'all had a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible with all the things you had done. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. And um, I'm going to give a post notification shout out to Valentine Corsica and uh, Robert Cole. Much love to you. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me, you know, hear your input on this video. Allowing yourself, did you realize anything, you know, from watching this video a lot of things about yourself that you probably didn't give yourself credit for so you know like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line share please share and give me a thumbs up and know that you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know your kind words can really go a long way for someone i'll see you on my next video much love peace be wild